Hey guys, Robert from Repurpose and Reuse. And today I'm getting a three pound capacity Chicago Rotary Rock Tumbler, 52.97. And I will use these rocks that are around my AC unit that needs to be weeded. And we are turning these rough rocks into polished rock using our rock tumbler from Harbor Freight. We've got our grit pack. Coarse grit will do first. Fine grit, then the pre-polish and the polish. That's a lot of sand. That's a lot of sand. Let's and put the sand in there. All right, so we've got it a half to three quarters of the way full, like the directions say. Yeah. We put our coarse grit in there. First, we put the seal lid. Make sure it's nice and sealed, and we're gonna put it on our tumbler. Good job, boys. All right, it's been on there for a good 24 hours. Let's open it up. <coughs> Take that off. Whoa, look at that. Uh-oh, get those. That's crazy. Why do you think it looks like that? I don't know. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more water. It's been exactly seven days and just took this off the tumbler. Let's take a look, see what it looks like inside, guys. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. We put the ones that we just polished with the coarse grit back in the tumbler, filled the water up to the bottom of the top layer of rocks, and pour in our fine grit. Cleaned the seals. It's been 10 days since I put in the fine grit. Let's see what it looks like. It almost looks just like chocolate milk there. Let's take the hose to it. So we've done the coarse grit for seven days and the fine grit for 10 days. And we've got two more steps. Ooh, that feels great. I think this is my favorite. It's got a cool kind of speckled pattern. And then we have our pre-polish. So dump that in there. And then again, Fill it up with water. Big washer and screw top. Let's put it back on the tumbler for another seven days. The pre-polish has been in there for seven days. Wait, turning, just got it off the... A rock tumbler. No. Let's see. Ew. Ooh, that's cool. Let's see Ew. what it looks like. All right, that's the pre-polish. So we're gonna rinse them off and then do the final stage, which Can is I the polish. Rinse them off? Sure. They're looking nice. Mm. One more week of polish and then they'll be all done. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So we've done seven days of coarse grit, 10 days of fine grit, seven days of pre-polish, and now the final step, seven days of polish.
We got the polish. And let's pour the water into the top layer. There we go. Okay, it's been exactly seven days of the polish. So grand total with all the steps, it's been one month. So overall, I've been really happy with this rock tumbler. Haven't had any issues, no overheating problems, no problems with the mechanics, and runs great. It is a little noisy to have running inside, so the garage is a perfect place to keep it running, especially for the length of time you need to run it to get these rocks smooth. Again, this is the box. You know, at your local Harbor Freight for about 50 bucks. And then this is the grid I used. We'll open it up, see what these final stones look like. Now for the moment of truth. Oh, that's a different color. All right, look at those. Again, these were just rocks that were in a bag of river rocks at Lowe's or Home Depot for a couple bucks for a huge 60 pound bag. So here's the final product. I'm really pleased with how they turned out. You, know, you can see all the little features and details of the rocks that the polish really brought out. Really pleased with this rock tumbling set. I'd recommend going out and getting one. You know, it did take about a month of continuously running the rock tumbler, but it was fun. It was cool to open and each week and, and see what it looked like at each stage along the way. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up. And thanks again, guys. Take care.